so I'm just out doing a uh, run from Gainford to Darlington. Got the uh, early Sunday morning bus, well the earliest one's 10 past 10, but uh, jumped on that, jumped out of Gainford, and then we're just uh, following the Teesdale way back to Darlington. Um, Andrea and some other runners from, well, all the clubs in Darlington, uh, Quakers, Harriers, uh, these girls can run up and running. Uh, all did this yesterday and it looked like they had a great time doing it and it's fantastic to see. Um, so much pleasure in off-road running. Uh, you just get out and enjoy the, enjoy the countryside. Dog walkers here, so just gonna have any fun on the lead. Morning. So this week, um, well, it's Sunday now, but as of last week, it was 11 weeks to go until the 55, sorry, the 55, the 50 mile um, lakes in a day. So it's getting closer and closer. Um, you know, my, my runs have been strong enough and I've been running slowly, but any kind of speed work, uh, it's been tough there's just something slight little bit of pain with my hamstring and uh, <laughs> flying my mom and uh, so from there you know I've, uh, I thought with 10 weeks to go 11 weeks to go it's worth doing some proper PT sessions with uh, uh, Johnny Harrison at Corporate Personal Fitness and we did a load of kettlebells on Thursday. A good half hour session. Morning. Thanks. <laughs> and uh, I just I got a little chance to, you know, work on core strength. It gets, uh, when you do a good kettlebell session, it gets a lot down your, your back, your glutes, your hamstrings. And it must have been exactly what I needed because I did uh, Tease Barrage Park run yesterday for the first time. Decent enough time to just, uh, just over 21 minutes, absolutely torrential rain, which made it a great deal of fun. Um, considering the last week or so, the heat in Darlington has been way too much. Uh, I think the record UK temperature was set somewhere in Kent, I think, on, on Thursday. And, uh, you know, it's always difficult at work. Uh, Concentrate, we don't have air conditioning. Um, so it's been like such a hot, hot week. So for it to rain yesterday, the park run, it was so refreshing. It was still relatively warm, but it was absolutely peeing down. Uh, but that's some of my favorite conditions to run in. So I had a nice, good run there. I managed to push. Uh, didn't feel my hamstring anything well nothing past uh, having a bit of doms from the uh, from the kettlebell session a couple of days previous so so it kind of went pretty well um, shoelaces well both of them came undone the first one after about a kilometer I always do double knots and everything but uh, 
they were so wet I could just feel them loosening and loosening uh, so I lost probably 45 seconds over the whole course doing my laces I could I just took the second second one in that was like in the last kilometer but uh, my left lace in the first kilometer uh, I couldn't run four kilometers with my lace untied so just uh, got down and did it a couple of people slipped over it's quite quite greasy on that course um, but really enjoyed it it's like fantastic that the volunteers will come out and stand in those conditions just to help people you know be there help people achieve the, the targets and you know without them park run none of that would happen none of that community would be there apart from within running clubs so it's just a brilliant brilliant thing um, it's about 10 miles today that I'm doing so um, just gonna crack on with it like I say the, the ladies who went out with say from all the dart and running clubs the, some of the comments like afterwards like uh, the best runs they've ever done uh, you know I think a lot of them are road runners and and you can get a bit too preoccupied with with times and how other people are doing but when you come out and do trail running you know you just enjoy it just enjoy what's around you taking that peace and quiet taking the sound of the river birds it's almost like a form of meditation been uh, reading a book about meditating while running and uh, it's just all about like using all of your senses to take in what's around you and and by doing that you actually relax and and that'll make you a better runner in the end but there's always a time and place for, for pushing hard on races and it's uh, I was down in 10k race in two weeks time you know and, and that'll be great as well and I'll try and have a little push there but I don't want to I don't want to completely kill myself because you know the big goal is the 50 miler but uh, yeah just when I was I was formulating a plan for exactly what I need to do right up until race day and it's come around so quickly the fact it was 11 weeks to go I know that um, you know I give Johnny uh, the, my PT guy you know just enough time to be hitting certain certain levels of endurance and hypertrophy before getting like, a couple of important uh, breaks in between and we've got a chance to do uh, stretching and manipulation of joints and things like that so kind of timed it right hopefully and um, I'll be firing fit for race day so I'll, I'll leave it there and uh, crack on with the run the, the, the heat's getting up um, it said 10% chance of rain and I mean it's it's pretty cloudy and I felt a little bit of drizzle just when I got off the bus, but um, I don't think it's going to rain. I do have my waterproof jacket, but I doubt I'll need it, even if it does rain. It's, I'm not that far from home. It's just worth having, just in case something goes wrong, you get injured or whatever. Because you soon quickly cool down. But, uh, yeah, here goes. Time to crack on. <laughs> 